Perfect Gray Hunter. Let me fix this. Okay. <laughs> it is a uh, Wednesday, April the 3rd. Okay, I'm down here sitting in my living room. Um, you can see here. See that? Okay. Something different. I should be sitting upstairs in my um, guest bedroom where I have my my books, but I don't want to take all this stuff upstairs. So <laughs> I want to uh, do start my video with doing my drink of the day, like Donna D does. I don't know if you guys watch Donna D. She's one of my subscribers, and she always when she does her videos, she always has a drink of the day. And um, of course, mine aren't as fancy as hers. Um, I don't drink alcohol, so mine are always like, you know, some type of fruit juice <laughs> or water. But my drink of the day is my Frutos de Vida, I think which means fruits of life. This is Mexican goodness, pineapple, celery, and nopal, which is cactus juice. So pineapple, celery, and cactus juice. I've showed you guys this before. It is my, one of my favorite, you guys know my carrot and my coconut are my favorite but so when i was buying them from sam's i just got the small bottles i don't know if y'all remember seeing those when i went to my local grocery store they have this one just 30 33.8 uh ounces so it's a little over a quart so excited like i'm salivating i love this stuff but you know it's not for everybody some actually jade likes it which i was surprised but a lot of my other friends don't like it. They say it's too green, it's disgusting. But to me, I like it. It's 100% juice. Um, it's so good for you guys. Um, drinking celery juice is great for so many benefits, but. Mm. So good. Okay, so if you guys have ever drank um, V8 juice, and you know when you drink V8 juice, how it hits those little tingly <laughs> taste buds in the back, where it hits that savory, where you have that umami feel, right? Well, that's what this feels like for me. When I drink a V8 juice, I, it hits all of my taste buds, and that the very last part of it is like savory, and it feels like I have the umami feel. And... Um, that's what this drink is like. It's sweet and it has that um, savory, salty taste from celery and the cactus. Uh, yeah. Okay. But that's all we're talking about here. So I wanted to do a video talking about tips for my book lovers. So you guys know that I do read a lot of books. Um, and I'm going to start doing more, um, more, book more book videos, more book vlogs. Um, I've made some in the past, but I really didn't think anybody was too interested. And so, uh, I, I really do want to, and, and I read a variety of books. So, you know, some will be witchy, some will be non-witchy. And, um, but anyway, so look for those in the future. I already received so many books that I want to do reviews on. And, uh, I think I need to finish reading them before I can do an actual review on them. Because then you don't know whether or not they're good. And I don't want you guys to go buy something based on something that I've shown and turns out to not be good. But again, you know, different strokes for different folks. All right, so I wrote all my little tips down. And my first tip for book lovers is, um, you know, when I, I'm showing a bunch of books or when I'm seeing other people show books and stuff, books are super expensive. They can be super expensive, especially if you buy them from full price stores, you know, like Barnes and Nobles and, you know, book places like that. Um, but you want to look for book outlets. Like you want to look for places like for us here in Texas, we have half price books. Um, and they also, you can go on half price books um, online and you can purchase books through there as well. Uh, but if you're ever in Texas, you have to go look for half price books. And if you are in Texas, um, Next week in Houston, I think April, this weekend, this weekend actually, I think they're going to have, every April, Half Price Books does this thing where they rent out like a huge, um, like a huge venue and they bring out all kinds of books and movies and records and videos. 
Um, I mean, just all kinds of stuff. Half price books, some are gently used and some are brand new. Um, so anyway, they rent out this huge venue and they, uh, they're just tables of books and books and books. Now they do have some type of organization there. They do have them broken down into like certain, like, you know, the, the different types of books, like, you know, children books, cookbooks, you know, on and on. Um, but people go as soon as they open, it's like, it's a whole weekend and, um, you can get books really, really cheap. I'm talking about, you can get books for like 99 cents. You can get stuff for 50 cents. You see people coming out of this venue with like bags. Some are carrying boxes of books. And I always go every year and I get so many books because not only do they have like new books, but they also have a lot of older books. So if you're into those type of older classic books, you're totally going to get all those there. Um, so it's, like I said, in Houston, they're doing it this coming weekend. You can get on halfpricebooks.com and you can look to see where one will be close to you, you know, like what, when it's going to come. I have to look myself because I don't know when it's coming to, um, you know, to Austin because that's closest to me. Anyway, I'm so excited. All right. Um, so definitely want to look for um, cheap book outlets. So like I said, half price books. Um, Salvation Army is another place where you can go and find really cheap books. Every every place, every city has a Salvation Army. Now, the only thing I've, about Salvation Army is that they're kind of like Goodwill. Goodwill is another place where you can find books. Sometimes I find that the books at Salvation Army and Goodwill are a little more than what I would pay for at half price. So for us, that we have a half price book, I, I can kind of do that. But if I didn't have a half price book, I would definitely start collecting books from Goodwill, thrift stores, and Salvation Army. When I had my original collection of books, um, I started a lot of them from Goodwill and Salvation Army and thrift stores. Uh, and then, you know, I discovered half price books. I'm like, where have you been all my life? So you can definitely check those places out. Antique shops. Antique shops have tons of books as well. Now, if you are a book collector like I am, you definitely want to check out antique shops, but you are going to pay a little more in an antique shop than you would, you know, like a, it's not going to come cheap depending on what it is. I like to collect old, um, like old classic books. Um, and, um, cause I love reading old classic books. That's one of my things. Now going back really quick to half price books, Inside um, some half price books, there's one in Austin off of South Lamar and they have, um, well, every half price books has this, but that particular store has a completely separate little shop for this and they're old rare books. And so you can go in there and find very old rare books. Now, of course, you're going to pay a little more for one. But if you're into collecting those types of books, Half Price Books does have them. The one off of South Lamar does have a separate shop. Like inside the shop, there's a separate area in there. And then inside the other Half Price Books, they mostly have them like in glass cases. So they do have them. It's just, you know, some stores have a bigger selection. But anyway, at antique shops, you will find more of the classic books. And, and if you're into collecting rare and old books. Um... Another pl good place to collect books is the dollar store. Guys, have you ever gone to like Dollar General or the dollar store, um, Family Dollar? They always have a book area. I have gotten some really good books from the dollar store and they're all brand new books. They might have, they may be some um, not popular books, but if you like to read, you know, there's so many great books there. Uh, and I'm saying popular books, like books that you would see like in Barnes and Noble, you know how they get you, you know how they put stuff up and they like get you, you know? So I, you probably wouldn't find the Michelle Obama book at the dollar store, but there are a lot of other awesome books. So if you're trying to, um, if you're trying to, um, stock your library, the dollar store is a really good place to find some. Mm. Sorry. It just, it's a, mm. Um, and what I'll do is I'll go to the dollar store this coming weekend and I'll show a video 
of what we have like in our dollar stores and that way you can see the type of books that you can get just in case y'all haven't gone by the time you know i post my next video um okay another good place to find books are at estate sales Oh, I love going to estate sales. The reason why I like estate sales is not only because I like to collect, you know, you know damn near everything, but, but you know, I like to collect salt and pepper shakers and, you know, like certain types of dishes and antiques, but also the, um, the estate sales has really nice libraries. So, you know, these are like, you know, older people, um, sometimes that have passed away or, you know, people are moving or whatever it is, but you know, most everybody has books, right? Uh, whether they read them or it's for show. And especially if it's a estate sale that it's an older home, ooh, man, you can find a lot of good books. And usually people, um, you know, in the very beginning of the day, they really have them at a certain, it's still a, a cheap price. But if you go towards the end of the day, oh, my eyeball was twitching. Towards the end of the day, you can get them super cheap. My eyeball's going. <laughs> All right. Um, another great place is garage sales as well. Um, I found lots of great books at the garage sales. Um, really quick tip also at half price books. Um, I know you guys are like, I don't have a half price book. Stop talking about it. <laughs> uh, but if you do, they will buy uh, books. So if you have a stack of books that you no longer want, Rather, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, um, kid books, adult books, cookbooks, they don't care. Take all the books you don't want and take them in there. And even if all they give you is $10, if you go to the Clarence area in Half Price Books, Clarence, um, Half Price Books, all the books are in there super cheap. And on top of that, they have a Clarence area. So you can get books for a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. You guys have seen my book hauls. So with $10, you definitely can come out of there you know, with one or two or three books, depending on, you know, with how much they cost. So, and it's a good way to get rid of books to make room on your shelves for new books. Um, okay. Now, uh, another place that you can get some good books from, is there's a website and it's also an app called Good Read Giveaways. Um, you get on there and you sign up. And of course, they have lots of information on different books. But on there too, you can sign up to, for giveaways. So if you your name is picked, you can get a brand new book. And sometimes they offer free books, like um, a chance to win free books, also free books that you can download onto your computer. So Goodreads, Goodreads, just look for book giveaways. It doesn't have to be just Goodreads. They're just go Google book giveaways. And then you can find so many things that you can sign up for. Um, another great way to get books super cheap are ebooks. If you have a Kindle or a Nook or um, you have an iPhone or an iPad, you definitely can um, download books. So, you know, your Amazon Kindle, your Nook, your um, Google Play books, and your iTunes books. So, for me, I have my Kindle, I mean, my, um, my Nook. I bought my Nook back, ooh, years ago, when this first came out, um, and it's, I love it. So, um, you guys probably know how these electronic readers work. Um, I have my library, so you have books, magazines, newspapers, and then <coughs> also apps. So, <coughs> sorry. So, here, <coughs> joking. Okay, so here you have, um, all of your books on here. Um, let me hit the screen so it will look. There we go. So the good thing about an electronic reader like this is that, you know, you just click on it and then the book will open up and you can pick up where you were at or you can hit a button down here to view the table of contents. You can highlight certain things on here, which is really nice. Having um, a electronic reader like this you can go to the shop and you can purchase books. So you can put your credit card in here or you can go buy a, pre a prepaid Visa card. If you don't want to put your own card in here, you can buy a prepaid Visa card and go ahead and put it on here. They also sell um, like gift cards like for uh, the Nook and also for the uh, Kindle. So anyway, 
it what what it does is it picks books for you like according to the books that you've already purchased in the past then it'll show you some things that just picked for you are some um, books that are on sale at barnes and noble and then books under 2.99 nook recommends these nook bundles uh bestseller magazines newspapers so there and then new releases so you can shop for books you know sorry god dang it if they don't stop calling me about some school loan i don't want to go back to school stop forcing me <laughs> no they keep saying this is your last day your last time to apply i'm like girl that's what y'all told me last week and y'all still calling me okay so back to this so yeah i love my um my nook this is the nook color edition because i know they have a black and white one and then um they have the colored one i like the colored one because i i just i wanted it <laughs> um but they do have the black and white ones is cheaper i don't really remember how much i paid for that it's been so long ago um you can also find electronic readers at your pawn shops um i when i've gone to the pawn shop and i bought one for my daughter bought her a kindle reader um it's a colored kindle reader and i think i paid 40 dollars 30 or 40 dollars for it i can't remember um so you can go to go to um definitely go there and buy some used um electronic readers um they're really nice to have because once you buy the book you have the books on there they're yours um you can arrange them on your bookshelf however you want and you can also uh download samples of books so if there's a book that you like you can hit free sample and it'll give you a free sample of the book so it might be like one or two chapters so you can read it to see if this is something that you want to read before you purchase it so yes i'm the person that likes to have books in my hand but sometimes having an electronic reader like this that fits into my purse is great because you guys know i like to read several books at one time so on here if i get tired of reading a book i can just scroll through here and pick another book or i can you know read my newspaper or read a magazine so if you want to get um, a newspaper every day you you download it here and so your paper will come every day or every sunday however you want to do it um same with magazines you know you subscribe to a magazine every month it'll come on here um and this is also good for people like me who need a book light to read um you know see how bright this is i mean you can control how bright you want this also there's a little button here where you can control how bright you like it so if you're sitting in bed and you want to read and you don't want to disturb your significant other um then you can just do this and you don't have to worry about keeping a light on so like i said electronic books are there's so many pros to them and i just know that a lot of people aren't fond of them because they actually want to hold a book which i get there are some books that i have on my nook that i have on my shelf as well but it just depends on how the convenience of what you want all right so let's go on um now you can go to certain websites like bookbub like b-u-b bookbub they offer free ebooks so when you're going to download a free um like a free ebook or just an ebook itself you have you need to have some type of device to do it either your phone or your pad or your laptop um you know or you know your reader something that you can download a free ebook but bookbub they offer free ebooks there's a lot of free ebooks and again it may be something you've never heard but if you love to read i mean reading is like the best vacation you know you can just dive into it and go somewhere else um book perk is another one like p-e-r-k book perk you can sign up when you sign up they automatically give you a free ebook so that's a good one um uh, bargain booksy is another place where you can get ebooks um now another great place to get books is your local library um it's worth it for us that we live out of the city limits we have to pay 25 dollars a year but that's okay because um my whole family gets a card and so i go to the library and check out books all the time but if there's a book i want to read but i don't want to purchase it i'll go read one, i'll go get one there um i use the library a lot also too for homeschooling but um 
in our library, we have a bookstore. It is so awesome. I think I'll, I'll, have, I'll have to see if they'll let me record in there. I don't, I don't, I've never tried to record in the library. We have um, like such an awesome library. It's two stories. It's an older building in, in our little town area. And uh, you guys know I live in a little town and it's huge. We have a restaurant in there as well, like a little coffee shop and they serve food and coffee and all that. Um, and um, a lot of seating area where you can just go there and read, Play, you know, places where you can do homeschool or, you know, they have a big kid area. It's such a nice library. Um, but upstairs, we have a used bookstore. And so you can, every month they have specials. So it's sometimes it's like buy one book and you get one free. Like buy one hardcover, get one hard one hardcover free. Or you buy one soft cover and you get two soft cover free. They always have some kind of special. Or if you buy children's book, you buy buy one book, get two free. It's amazing. Um, the last couple of months, they just been, um, you can pick as many books as you want and you just give them a donation. So if you buy, if you go and you pick 20 books and all you give them is $5, I'll be like, thank you. But when I go and it's like donations, I give a dollar per, per book, you know. Um, so I'll, I'll go in there and they have so many nice books. And a lot of their books are not just donated to them, but these are also books that the library can no longer use because they're already too old already. And honestly, they're in great shape. And I'm like, what's wrong with y'all? But I'll take it. So in order for them to get rid of them, instead of like throwing them away, they um, put them to sell. And that money goes back to the library, which is amazing, right? Mm. So if you don't have a bookstore in your library, um, you might want to call your library and ask them, like, is there any way that I can buy any old books that y'all don't want anymore? What do you do with your old books? Um, and, I'm, and I'm sure, or get on your web, on your local library's website and look at the website and see if they have anything there. Also, at your local library, they have so many nice events there that you can go. Sometimes they have... Um, They'll have like certain um, authors will come, you know, if it's like a local author or something, and they'll read out of the book. Or they'll have certain, you know, readers for children. Um, there's just so many things. The library is a wonderful place. I love it. So now, if you get a library card, hold on, guys. I thought I was going to sneeze. If you get a library card, you can go online and you can, on your phone, on your smart device, and download certain library apps. Um, now, the library website itself, so like my local library has one, and I can, um, I can download books. I can borrow books and online books and, and read those. And they, you let, they let you have them for two weeks, and then after that, you know, it's gone. If, and sometimes there's a waiting list, so... You can do that from your local library on the off the website. But once you have a library card, you can use your library card to use certain library apps. There's two that I have. One is called Overdrive, and the other one is called Libby, like L-I-B-B-Y. Um, I get on there, and you put in the state that you live in, the state that you, the state and the city that you live in, and the local library in your area that's closest to you. And uh, you put in your library number off your card. And then you can also download books onto them. So if you don't want to do on the library website, you can do one of these apps. But you have to have a library card. Um, my sister has one and she um, lets her daughter, who lives in another state, use her library card. So it, you know, you can, if you have somebody who, a friend who has a library card and was willing to help you do that. And it's no big deal. It's not like you're going to lose the book because you're downloading onto your, your device. And after two weeks, they take it back. It's gone. So, you know, you don't have to worry about, you know, uh, fees or anything. Um, another way um, that you can get, you know, books for free or cheap is to share with friends. You know, like I was doing it at one point where... 
I was um, I was getting a book. Look, let's just I have some books right here, and I have like my 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 hoodoo uh, my my hoodoo herbs and root magic book. Right, let's just say this one. I'm like, okay, guys, this is a book that I want to to share. So what I was doing was I was trying to, you know, like I was trying to have like a little book club. But it didn't work because people don't want to do it. <laughs> so um, I was, what I would do is I would mail off, I would read the book, and then I would mail it to you. And then whoever I'm mailing it to, they're going to mail me a book of theirs. So I would read their book, and they would read my book. And then when we were done, we send it back to each other. Um, this is just a way that you can share your books with your friends and read the books that they have. Um, but don't be giving your books to people who um, don't know how to return stuff or mess your stuff up. Because when I lend somebody a book, I'm like, okay, do you see the condition of this book? Do you see that there's no torn pages? There's no food marks in here or anything. The way that you get this book is the way that I want it back. And if it's not the same way that you got it, then just send me the money for it. Because <laughs> I'm really strict with my books because... Um, I love my books. Uh, I, I take care of them. I spend money on them. So I'm not going to just lend my book to somebody and not get it back. Ugh, this last year, I lent two books out. And they're gone. Bye-bye. Gone. Do you think that half I even thought? Okay, you know what? We're not going to go there. Mm, back down to my happy place. <laughs> okay, let's go on to something else. Another way you can um, get really cheap books is audio books. Now, I also have the audio app. Um, now, if you watch certain YouTubers, they will have a code for you where you can get one free book or you can get so much percentage off of a book. So when you sign up for audio books, you automatically get a free book. So that's great right there. Um, or you can use somebody's um, code and you can get on there and you can get a free book. So it's audiobooks are amazing, guys. I know a lot of people don't like audiobooks. They like to actually read the books. But think about it. When I'm outside doing my walking, I used to listen to music. But now I listen to an audiobook when I'm doing my walking because I can listen and walk at the same time. When I was on my treadmill, I was doing the same thing. When you're driving in the car, you can listen to your audiobooks. So, you know, having audiobooks is amazing. It doesn't mean that, you know, you're not technically a reader. Because uh, some people say, oh, you're not technically a reader if you're doing audiobooks. Oh, you better get away from me. Like, the hell away from me. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, back down to my happy place. But anyway, audiobooks are great to have. And uh, once you download it onto your device, it's yours. And so um, definitely check those out. Also, check, um, you know, look at some blogs. Like, there are so many different book lovers out there that have wonderful blogs. And on their blogs, they talk about, like, different, like, not only are they giving you information on new books that have come out, but they also give you information on where to get, hey, like, today, you know, if you go on so-and-so, you can, or this month, you can get a free book. You know, they, it's very helpful information. And, you know, so blogs are great. You can get on YouTube and you can watch book, you know, book blogs. There's a lot of people who do so many wonderful, wonderful book uh, vlogs. And they're showing you a book and they're telling you the title and they're telling you exactly what the book is about. And they, they're, giving, they're giving great reviews. So definitely um, it's something that you want to look at. And it's, they're on YouTube. There's so many. Um, and then through looking at YouTubers, um, you can also find links to their blogs. So that way you can get information. And there's a lot of um, book companies out there. So if you type in, in your Google search, book blogs, they you'll see a list of them. And you can get on there. You can sign up for their free emails. And when those emails are always giving you so many great information on books or like links to free ebooks. So that's another way. Um, on YouTube, there are a lot of free audiobooks on YouTube, um, but I never listen to those because, uh, like I said, I already have audiobooks on my on my um, phone, so I just listen to those. Um, 
Okay, and another place where you can look for books is Facebook Facebook Market. So if you're on Facebook and if you go to the very bottom of, of Facebook, there's like a little, looks like a little storefront. You click on that and that is Facebook Market. At the end of the video, I'll show just a quick little um, tutorial on how to find it just in case. Um, but anyway, you can get on your Facebook Market and then on the top, you can just type in books, children's books, young adult books, classic books, whatever. And then it'll show you people in your area who are selling books. So when I'm looking to buy a series, like say I'm looking for the Game of Thrones series, which I won't that. But let's just say you're looking for Game of Thrones series. You type that in, Game of Thrones book series. And then it'll show people who are selling their books. And you see pictures because they post pictures. It has a... um a map to show where they're located at and then you can send them a message like an inbox message you get on there and tell them it tells you also how much they want for it so then you can just type in you know you're interested do you still have these books for sale they'll send you a message back you know yes i do and then you figure out where you're going to meet to purchase the books so i use facebook market all the time to buy stuff Guys, once you get on Facebook Market, you're going to be like, oh my God, let me see if they have a bookshelf. Oh, let me see if they have a lamp. Let me, because people are selling, it's like, it's like garage sale shopping online. <laughs> I love it. Um, All right. So let me tell you about the phone apps that I have on my phone. Uh, these are just some of the phone apps that I have that I use for free eBooks. So far, I have not paid for a free I mean, I have not paid for an ebook. I have gotten them for free. Mm -hmm. I'm baking beans right now. This smells so good. <laughs> um, Watt Pad, like W A T T Pad. Um, I have that one. These are all from my Apple phone. So I don't know about, I'm sure they have them on Android, just like they do uh, on Apple. Um, I have my Kindle app. I also have my Nook app. So if you don't want to buy the Nook or the, um, or the Kindle device, you can get the app and um, you go from there. Um, I have my Nook because whatever I have on this device here, it links up to my phone. So if I'm somewhere and I don't have my Nook with me, I can just pull it up on my phone. I have Overdrive. Overdrive is the one. Overdrive and Libby are the library ones that I told you about that you put in your library card in there and you can check out books and it, you can read it on your phone or your smart device or your computer. Um, I also have the audiobook app. I have Goodreads app. I have Thrift Books. Now Thrift Books add, um, you can get on their website or you can get the app. That is a place where you, it's kind of like um, half price books. They have new and gently used books that you can purchase super cheap. Um, and then I have Google Play Books, and then I have Kobo Books, which is K-O-B-O, -O, Kobo Books. Those are the only ones that I have on my phone. I don't like the only ones. Um, now, let me also talk to you about online books. So, there are a lot of places where you can download books. Now, of course, you're going to have to pay for some of these. Some of these will be free, some of them you'll have to pay for, but... Like generalebooks.com is a place where you can purchase uh, ebooks. Uh, Better um, Better World Books is another one. Book Outlet. Book Outlet. Let me tell you, Book Outlet is a website just like Half Price Books. Guys, I have bought books from them for like forty seven cents, a dollar forty nine, ninety nine cents. The only thing about Book Outlet is when you get on there and you find a book. Like, say you were wanting to buy the Michelle Obama book, and they have it. You better put it in your cart and buy it. Because those things are like, like first come, first serve. They don't have, like, a whole bunch of them. They just have what they have, and then once it's gone, it's gone unless they get another one. So, they have all kinds. Like, like if you're into witchcraft books, oh my god, they got so many witchcraft books. So many books, guys, and super, super cheap. So, Book Outlet is one of my favorites, too. And then Bargain Shop and the Book Depository. Those, those are just some that I use. There's so many more. Um, now, um, 
Oh gosh, give me one second. Okay, one second. I had to run to go check the beans and get my iPad because I wanted to, sh to give you some names of these places here. Now, um, one thing that I, I do subscribe to are book box subscriptions. Now, the only thing about a book box subscription, you can get them whenever you want. You don't have to be stuck doing this for the whole year or whatever. You can just get it for whatever month you want. Now, um, they're super wonderful, but there's pros and cons to them. The pros is that every month you get this beautiful book box and you have your book in there. Plus they send you lots of other cool little things, right? There are some book boxes that will send you the book. So let's just say they're sending you this book. This is probably a bad one to use an ex as an example, but they're sending you this book. So it'll inside the book there'll be like a little like a little um post-it note and it'll say open gift one so excuse me whatever the book is about you will have a few gifts say like five gifts in there and each gift corresponds to that particular page so if this book right here is talking about um stirring my tomato soup with a wooden spoon right so then it says open, you know, um, open gift one. So then on the gifts, it's beautifully wrapped. And then it has like, you know, it will say on there, gift one page, whatever, right? Whatever page that you're on. And then you open it up and it'll be like a beautiful wooden spoon with a tomato on or whatever. It corresponds to what it is that you're reading about on that particular page. And so they're pretty cool because you can get some pretty cool little gifts. You can get candles, you get, um... Like I said, you get candles, you get stickers, you get cups sometimes. You know, I'm a cup person. So you get, you know, a bunch of stuff like that. It's just sometimes you get little necklaces or bracelets. It's super cute. It's, it's They have it for adults and they also have it for children. So I'm going to get Jade on one because I think it's super cute to have. Um, but I'm trying to find the right one that I want to give. There's one that's like, I'll tell you the name of it in a second. But... So, but that's really wonderful. Like it's, it's a wonderful little gift to yourself that you get this book box and you get these wonderful little things, right? And you get super excited to get this cute box and with all the stuff. Now, the cons about it is that it can be kind of pricey if you're ordering more than one because they start out about $30. So $30 plus tax, let's just say you're spending like $35, $36. I could go to any of these other places that I talked about and get several books for that amount. Do I really need, do I really need another water bottle or a coffee cup or a necklace that I'm never gonna wear or candles? Like, do I really need that? Or am I, you know, do I want the books? So that's how I look at it sometimes. And also the cons about that is that you don't, on some of these, you don't get to pick your book. You don't know what's coming. So every month, each book box has a theme. So if it, like one time on one was um, during Halloween, one of them gave the Hocus Pocus theme. Amazing. So you get the Hocus Pocus book, you know, the sequel. So in, inside the sequel book is part one and part two. And if I have not shown y'all that or did a review, I think I will because uh, it, it was really cute. Uh, but anyway, in that box came the book and came stickers and everything that was in that book. I mean, in that book box had the Sanderson sisters on it. It was very witchy. So it was super cute. So I can understand buying book boxes for that reason. And I love book boxes. When I'm going to subscribe to a couple of book boxes this month. And when I get them, I will open them online so you guys can see. I'll do a video. Um, but like I said, the, that's the only thing that I see that could be not, you know, that could be kind of a negative. Is if you only have a certain amount of money to buy books, you know, you're only possibly only going to get one book in that book box. You might get one, you might get two. I mean, you're definitely going to get one, but you may get two. Um, and then you get a lot of other stuff. So... 
you just have kind of have to, um, you know, it's kind of like when you go pick one of those bags, surprise bags for $5, you don't know what it's going to get, but the anticipation of knowing you're going to get like a little goodie. So it's kind of like that, but they're super cute. And I think they're really cute to get them for your children because it'll, it's, it's like a nice little treat for them. And it's something to get them excited. And it's something just for them. Cause I know Jay gets excited when she gets packages and she's, she spent all morning today just upstairs reading. I love that. I don't care what you're reading as long as you're reading. And um, to know that she'll get a little box every month with little knickknacks in it. And it'll open up her mind to different types of books. Because you're picking the category for them, like as far as their age. So, anyway. So those, um, th let me give you the, let me give you some of the names of the book box um, subscriptions. So if you're interested, you can look these up online and that way you can determine whether or not you want to get any of these. Um, and also, you know, having these um, book box subscriptions really does help to uh, build your library. Okay, so I'm just going to give you some, um, some examples. Uh, so you have uh, owlcrate.com, like owl, O-W-L-C-R-A-T-E. Dot com Alcrate. They have a lot of, uh, they have really, really cute book boxes. You have a uh, Fairy Loot and then Lit Joy Crate, the Bookie Box. I love that. The Bookie Box. Um, the Unicorn Crate. Oh, the Unicorn Crate does a lot of fantasy books. So if you're into fantasy, that's the one to get. Uh, self, I'm sorry, what is this? Sorry, I was looking at a message. Shelf Love Crate, which is fantasy and sci-fi. Um, then you have Upper, Uppercase Box. And Once Upon a Book Club. Oh, that one is a good one too. Um, page habit book of the month now book of the month starts at ten dollars a month so that might be one to look at too coffee and a classic mm, my coffee and book club the bookworm box the book club I'm sorry the bookworm box is all romance I'm not into romance Feels like it clouds my judgment on what I think romance is. Um, then, uh, Hello Book Lover. Uh, my Thrill Club. Murder She Sent. A lot of murder books. And... Novel Box is another one. The Diabolic. <clears throat> yeah, that's all that I have that I wrote down. So definitely um, look at some of those book club, uh, book box subscriptions. So just type up book box subscriptions, you know, um, on Google or go to YouTube and type up book box unhauling or um, any of those that I just told you, like the Owl Crate one, or you know any of those others that I just mentioned. Type that one in, and then you will see people unboxing their boxes, so you can see what they look like, and you can see the things that come in them, if you're interested. They're super cute. I mean, I think, I think it's nice, like a little treat every now and then. Um, but all right, I think uh, the last little thing I had was free books. You can do um, openlibrary.org. They have over a million ebooks, and there's so many free ones. Project uh, Glutenberg. Project Glutenberg. Uh, they have over 45,000 free ebooks, and then of course the the Kobo ebook store. They have a list of free ebooks, and that one is on my phone. All right, guys, those are all of my tips for my book lovers. I hope that this helps you because I know a lot of people have been asking me 
where I've been getting my books and you know if they don't you know sometimes you guys say I don't have a half price books I wish I did where can I find them and guys there are so many places to get books you just got to get out there and look for them and I'm telling you the next time you go to your dollar store go look Target Walmart they all have books I bought my Michelle Obama at um Walmart for $14 so you know definitely um it's definitely a, uh, a, you know, you can find books just about anywhere. Um, also, um, see if you have um, friends who want to trade books. Now, one last tip before I get off. I, I do want to say that I, if you are like me and can't remember nothing, I have a little book like this that I bought this from Half Price Books. Actually, my daughter bought me these two. Um, now, these are these are just little plain books these little plain books all right so it could be a little spiral it can be whatever but i have this because it fits really good in my purse and so what i have on here is like book series that i want to get so for example i have here the harry potter series i've showed you guys this before i write all of the books that i want to buy and as i buy them i highlight them so that way i know that i have it and like i don't like soft covers i like the hard covers so here, Chamber of Secrets, I do have it, but I only have the soft cover. So this way I know when I find the hard cover on sale to go ahead and get that. The Clan of the K-Bear series, I have all of those. So because what I was doing, I was going into the stores and I would say, oh my gosh, I need this book. And then I come home and I put it on my shelf and I already have like two or three of the same book. Like you idiot. So this helps me a lot. So I have like, I have a lot of the authors that I like, you know, like I have Dan Brown, I have a list of all the books that I want from him. And so as I start buying them, I just start checking those out. All right, guys, that was my husband calling. Okay, so uh, yeah, I was just talking about this little book. Um, like I said, I, I just write down all of the books that I want. And as I get them, I scratch them off so I don't continue to buy the same book over and over. I do have an area here for my witchy books. I go through here and I write down the books that I want. And so next to them in red, I will write how much I found this book on Amazon for. So like here, um, let's find one. The Mountain Magic book by Eden McCoy on Amazon is $95. Um, so I'm definitely gonna be looking for the book that, you know, it's my, I've seen it a little bit cheaper than that, but not as cheap as I would still like to get it. <laughs> um, so anyway, I just write down all the all the magical books that I want and scratch them out as well. And I always just kind of write that on the side, like how much this book is on Amazon. So in case I don't find it, it really is a book that I want. You know, last resort, I can look on here and say, okay, my this one right here, um, this you know book on magic do i really want to pay 17.95 for you know i can kind of just little notes for myself but anyway i kind of just do that with this um and then i also have book series in here so um i've been carrying these two but what i'm going to do now is i got three books that i'm going to just combine them all at once because i do buy books you know like this like my my vegan cookbooks my vegan gluten-free books my smoothie books you know things like that that i do like to buy um these two books my husband bought me my um vegan books really good books so you know since i do read all different types of books i read a lot of witch novels which i'm going to be sharing those with y'all as well um so instead of having different things i'm just going to write it in one so i you know how we witches are constantly buying journals we don't know what we're gonna buy it for like what the hell are we gonna put in there don't know but i'm gonna find a reason for it so i have like little journals like this that i buy from walmart i can't remember how much i got this little composition book and and that's really just all what it is it's just a blank book with lines i have this one and then i have this one that i bought with this little rubber band Ugh, it's so tight like making a little indention Anyway, I used to have my magical waters in here, but you guys know I have a whole another book of shadows for that. So I only wrote in a few of these pages, so I'm going to cut those out if I'm going to use this one. And I will just write all my books in here, or I might use this one. 
I'm thinking I'm really going to use this one because I can section it out. For example, this is all neon colors, reminds me of the 80s. So like this green section here, I can write all of my vegan and gluten-free books, like all of my books on food that I wanna buy, I can write it on that. Um, and then, you know, I can just section it out like that if I want. Um, and so like this orange one here, I can write all of my witchy novels, my witchy novels and um, my um, Anne Rice, my Stephen King. You know, I could do it like that if I wanted. I mean, you know, it's just something cool and fun, right? Um, but anyway, I think I'm gonna do that um, because I have so many books that I like to purchase and having something like this is really handy. Some, you know, just make sure you get something that's small enough that you can keep in your bag so that when you're going through and you're buying books, you can scratch them out. And this way you're building your library and you're not purchasing the same ones. And so looking through here, I see so many books that I've already bought, which is great. So, all right, guys, my battery is dying. All right. Um, I hope you liked this video. Sorry it was so long, so out all over the place. But as always, I love you all and blessed be. Bye. Okay, here you go on your Facebook. Click on it. And see, it's just your regular Facebook. Go down to the bottom here and click on the little house, the little market. And here is Facebook Market. And this is the last thing I was looking up was Stephen King. So you can click on a picture, scroll down through it, and you can get information like the person who's selling it, how much, details, and then, of course, a description. And then, you know, of course, you can see a little map from your house to theirs or wherever it is that they're gonna, you're gonna pick it up at. Then you can get out of it and you can be a little more, um, you can be a little more specific on what you want. So if you wanna type in just books, go ahead and just put that in there and you'll see a variety of different books, children's book, adult books. So if you want adult books, you of course you'll put that or youth books or whatever. You can put in lamps, dining room tables, blankets, all kinds of stuff. And you can see pictures that people have taken, again, with details of what it is, how much it is. Um, there's so many things you can buy on Facebook Market. And I like when they do several pictures because you can get on them and look and click on the picture. And then you can just zoom in so you can see exactly what it is, like I'm doing here, so I can see if I want any of those books. Of course, I want them all. Then you can go down to assess message. And um, if you want to send this person, uh, everything is ran by message, like inbox message. So click on the message. And then here you can see there are several things you can choose from or type in your own message. Send them a message and they'll get back with you. And then you make arrangements on whether or not you want to negotiate a price or if you're going to purchase it, where and where to pick it up from.